First offender. First uh, to judge. We are basically like the TV show where there's a judge and there is a bad guy and we just sentence him. Terafin is definitely bad, okay? She's guilty, 100%. The question is, what punishment? I'm actually just not sure what they do. Like, you can do billion things about it. Like, it's hard to guess. Like, if they just make it easier to kill or, like, increase the cost. It's like, it has to combine two of those and maybe... Like, I don't think they would touch, like, the level up. I think the level up is, like, not that horrible. Maybe by a one, but that's all. It's mostly, like, making less mana efficient and easier to kill. I think it can, like, honestly, Seraphine would be probably fine. Like, if, if none of the cards were changed, just Seraphine, and she was like a 3 mana 1 3 with 7 spells to level up, she would be fine. She would be still broke. So, I don't know. Like, I think it would be multiple things that will happen to her, but we'll see. Like, if she stays like 2 mana 1 4, she's still like. Doesn't matter what else they do to you. Like, 2 mana 1 for is just so hard to kill. So, yeah. I think they would do a lot. I, I mean, who will see, I guess. Fun Club President, I think. Okay, so this is a nerf. I hope it's not just like a 1 1, right? I guess, wait. As a 1 1, it could be like too bad, actually. 2 1 is. Like, they don't multiple uh, nerfs to those, like, tutus, like, conchologist. Those, like, some few others that they just made it instead of a tutu, they made it a 2 1. So, I don't know. They could try that, I guess. Seraphine herself isn't really the issue. It's re everything resolving around her. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I mean, also, like, both of those things. Like, it depends, like, Seraphine nerf. Depends on like how much they nerf the other things, you know, like But like there is no bar even here. Like if you look at all of those cards There is no bar. The only card that goes into it is like Ionian Tailstones, which right like, like It's not even in the, in the Noxus version and that's all Like none of those cards like affect this just functional presence. So I think it's a big nerf for this Like I'm so surprised that there is no bar in here Tumble so, like, you cannot talk about Tumble without talking about Vayne. So, I guess we'll talk about Tumble when we get to Vayne. Uh, Swain. Nerf Swain. Okay. I mean, he was, like, really strong for a while. Like, I guess he's not played because, like, Seraphine is so good. Like, he's pretty good overall, but I don't know what they do to him. I don't know. It's hard to say. Because he's 3-6 right now, right? Taking HP... I don't think so. They, um, it could be like a 2-6. But then like... Overwhelm on the second form is not that great. Like taking away one attack is actually crucial. It's hard to say what they do. But he's strong for sure. Like you have to think in the prism of like... The meta changes after like all the things happen, right? Like if they nerf Seraphine a lot. Like she's not like tier 1, tier 0. The next Swain deck, like, they, they were pretty good already, so... I think it's a justified nerf, it just depends on what is the nerf. It could be, like, just... Take away HP? I'm not sure, we'll see. If it's, like, a small nerf, it doesn't really matter. Shimon will nerf. Yeah, Monkey was really, like, this, this thing was really good, but... Huh? How do they nerf it? Like, plus one mana ma will make it unplayable almost, no? Focus speed? Oh, focus speed. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, focus speed makes sense. Okay. Very reasonable. Like, this card has no business being that good. I agree. I agree. I agree. Are you on test on nerf? I like how it says nerf. Because you cannot, like... Like, the only thing you can do about Tailstones... It's like change the spells in them, right? Because like all the tensions are the same. They cost one mana and you choose one of the three spells. So they will change like the fucking homecoming. Because homecoming is probably like it's just the strongest. But like it's weird that it's in a nerf. I guess it's just for us to be like 
because they don't have like a change tag because they should add a category that says changed not like nerfed not buffed but like changed so this will be changed obviously for like 99% of the decks it will probably like of 90% decks it will be nerf but like in some decks it will be a buff right so we'll see Card of the Tomb nerf I don't think it's justified but like maybe it's just like a Let's say it won't get obliterated, right? And like, this doesn't really matter that's mu that much. Like, it matters a little bit because you would get rid of weapons and shit, but like... Maybe just get rid of like, obliterate thing from this. Because I don't... Like, it, this card is reasonable for me, at least. So they would get, probably get rid of obliterate. Saga scare nerf becoming a 1-1. One -one. They, they, they were like, scared of... Like the Pantheon decks rising when like the, the Seraphim gets nerfed. It's fine. I think 1-1 one, one is kinda fair. Because when you got it on 1 and start buffing, it was like unstoppable. Things reasonable. Listen nerf. I mean, I will not cry. Fuck listen, honestly. But I wonder what they do, though. I actually don't know what they do. Level up requirement? 6 mana? No. I don't think they can do the mana thing. Like, in my opinion, Lissin is just, like, too strong. In a sense that he creates, like, a fucking barrier every time. So, I don't think, like, I can see them, like, nerfing 1 HP, honestly. Like, getting barrier every round is, like, so broken. It's like, he's a 3-5 that fucking can't die. Like, you, you can't kill Lissin through combat. They're playing Ionia, so, like, if you do, like, multiple things, they were just, like, Twin disciplines or fucking nopify your thing and you cannot kill him anymore. Like the barrier thing is so annoying, so I can see them like nerfing HP on it. And then you have Warlord's Palace and Warlord's Horde nerf. Action have been like very 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 good for a long time. I think it just goes to 9 countdown and that's all they will do. Like I don't think there's much more happening to it, which is fine. It will take like two more rounds to get the Warlords for the treasure. Yeah, that's probably what's happening. Like, I don't see anything else happening to it, to be fair. I think 9 is reasonable. And then we have both Relentless Pursuit and Golden Aegis. Okay, wanna hear what I think about it? So, there's like two things that can happen, right? Increase cost? I don't think that's happening. But I think they will make it so the spell has to resolve. Like if, like if you target your like your unit, your unit cannot die from that. And that will make Rally like super unplayable though. Into a lot of decks at least. I can't see, like I, I just can't see this being 5 mana. But like, Fizzle's on like resolve. Like, like if, if Rally can Fizzle, it's so bad. Dude, Rally went a long way from like 3 mana fast speed. Okay, may maybe they will make it like 5 mana, Relentless Pursuit gives plus 2, plus 2, and Golden Aegis gives like plus 1, plus 1, and shield. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, I just don't know what else they do. Like, I think it might be the resolve thing, actually. I think it might be the resolve. And then this, this card is kinda bad. So yeah, that's it for the nerfs. Those are like pretty good nerfs. I would like to see Bar here, though. I would like to see Bar here, honestly. But it is what it is. Uh, and let's go to buffs. Varus buff. That, is, is, that one is questionable. I think this n buff is questionable AF. Like, I think this is the like part of make the patch like two weeks before. And like, I don't think Varus needs a buff. If it's just like minus one requirement to level up, then it's fine. Then it's not that big of a day. But it's, it's like more than... Um, like, I don't know. Varus is pretty strong already. And now... Buff Vayne. The fact that Vayne is here doesn't mean anything. Because Ryder said that... Uh, it's basically... said that the... Tumble is getting nerfed, right? Vayne is probably going bigger. Like, I don't know. 4 mana 4-4 four, four or something. But the Tumble is getting nerfed. And the tumble is probably getting nerfed to like only getting discount and getting tumble on attack token or summon or something like starting at four mana i'm not sure like either of those like kind of makes sense so 
I think that's what's happening. Like four mana, four for Vayne. Like the tumble is worse. Something like that, probably. Maybe she stays the same. Like she's three mana, three four. But like uh, she has to attack to get the tumble. Or like reduce the cost of tumble. Maybe it has to do something with her attacking. I think it will, like, Tumble will have to do something to do with her attacking, I think. That, because that makes sense, right? Because Tumble is usually used, like, in League after attacking Kek. Like, you attack, Tumble, attack, right, Kek? <laughs> I think it's one of those two. We'll see. Like, it's hard to predict. There's a lot of things that you can do to it. Jinx buff, HP up, rocket on level up. I think it's more about the level up itself. Because her stats are fine. I think she's perfectly fine if with stats. Like the stats are not the problem. The level up is kind of a problem. Like they could make it so levels up with one card in hand. Like if you if you have just one card in one or zero cards in hand, she levels up. And then the rocket you get when your hand is empty, basically. Something like that could make her a bit better. When buff? Oh, it's also adjustment. I remember the post. It said that it's adjustment for Gwen also. I don't, like, I, I don't know. She seems fine, no? Maybe she gets fixed, though. Like the like the fizzle thing, right? Because on level up, she can fizzle the way it works. It doesn't have like the minimum thing. So maybe they just fix her level. I mean fix. They change the level up uh, trigger so you cannot fizzle. Maybe that's the thing. Jax buff. That's a weird one. I think Jax is in a pretty okay spot uh i'm not really sure what they do maybe they, like level up requirement but i think it's also fine i actually don't know maybe like the weapon is a little bit better i'm not sure i think jacks is completely fine so uh, jacks weapon to maybe plus one plus one. oh maybe they okay maybe they may okay that actually makes sense that's a good buff like, make jacks a 2-2 but his weapon is plus one plus oh that's better right like the, that way, like the Jax dies, then you get a weapon that actually does something, not just quick attack, it's also plus one plus one. Yeah, that, that's actually a pretty cool change. Yep, yeah, uh, okay. I can see that, I can see that. Then you have Ryan Van Wolf. I think it would make 3-3, three, three, no, they would make it 2-3. Like, it doesn't make sense for it to have like 3 attack, right? They would just make it 2-3, because like it doesn't matter whether he's 2 attack or 3. To something that has uh, zero attack anyway. And we are killing it. Uh, so I think it's just like 2 free. We'll see. Raven Bloom Conservatory buff. Yep. Be likey. So how, how much did they nerf that? I actually don't remember. Now it's 9 or 10. The Raven buff. Lunatara, well, let me see. It's 12! Wait. Oh, wait, no, I, I have a mistake, sorry, it was 10 or before, okay, it was 10 before, now it's 12, I don't know, make it in the level, I guess, I don't know, or just revert, honestly, they could just revert it, I'm not sure, it was pretty strong, but like, good type of strong, the Raven Bloom. I liked it, honestly, Lord Broadman nerf, I mean buff, sorry, so I guess it just becomes bigger. I kind of like this card. I tried playing with it. It's like not the worst, but like the stat line is so bad. Like you could give him like literally, I don't know, even like plus one, plus two, like make it like a three, six or something. It would be still like not great, I guess. Like I really like this card. So I hope they like make a giga buff or like even, okay, leave the stats and make it like five mana maybe. A part of the great. Okay, I actually don't know what that what that does. When I'm someone create a random Yordling hand, attack grants other allied heroes plus one plus all three mana to two. So I guess it can give plus one plus one. Or like you can choose a Yordle. Maybe if you choose a Yordle it's good enough. Plus one, plus one. Like, I don't think it would be too strong, honestly, but like... They don't like giving those plus one, plus one stats anymore because it's too good. But I don't think it would be great on this one, probably. But uh, maybe it would be too great, I don't know. But yeah, it's probably just like manifest 
and maybe becoming like a 2-3. We'll see. Swall Scout. What the fuck? They are adding new cards to the game, guys. Four mana free to enable someone if you will added plus two cards to your hand this round. Grant me plus one, plus O oh, and elusive. Who the fuck cares? Your little newbie. Three mana free to when I'm someone you have added two cards to your hand. This round ground me plus one plus two. It's a four four. Huh? Maybe like plus one HP. I mean who the who cares? Hex. I mean Hex probably just gets plus one damage, right? I think it's just one plus one damage. Yeah, do it this six. Six mana this six. I think it's fine. Uh, Celestial Impact. What the fuck you do to this card? You cannot change this. Wait, you, like this card is literally unchangeable. Yeah, make like some additional effect to this card. Deal some damage somewhere or something, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, they will not change the speed of this. Are you... Like this cannot be fast. This literally cannot be fast by design. If you behold a Celestia costs two less. Huh? Interesting. I could be a little strong though. Could be a little bit too strong. Six mana guys, it doesn't make sense if it's six mana. You can literally invoke the same card for six mana. Like I think it has to be like some additional effect or like discount, right? Main deck cards worse than invoke. That's the point, right? Invoke cards are supposed to be stronger than main deck of ones. Because you pay the price of like invoking them what do you mean that that's the whole idea of celestial cards i mean obviously they are like they are getting slowly overtaken by like by the new cards because the new cards are becoming stronger and stronger so like celestials are becoming weaker and weaker because they are not as strong as they used to be compared to other cards but yeah safety inspector i think it's a skip it's probably like some Useless card, right? I don't even know what it does. Round start can inspect some past in hand. Okay, what was that card, guys? The destroyed landmark, right? There's no allied landmark to do free to anything. Yeah, who the fuck cares? Uh, Troll Scavenger? I don't know. I, think, I mean, I guess this card was not played at all. Like, lately. It was, like, played early on, but then no one played that. Like, it's a 2 mana 4 for in a lot of cases, so... I'm not sure. If game region, no, the four mana. You already have the four mana guy. The troll something. Troll Ravager, it's like four mana three five, and he has the region. Like making it a four four, I don't know. Maybe they just give one HP kick. Like plus two plus one, uh, plus three plus one when you are beholding this. I don't know. Sinon. Probably a revert or like just plus one HP. Escape Abomination probably just plus one HP. Bone Club minus one mana maybe, which is kind of bad. I like guess it's really bad. Shadow Blade Fanatic. Like made the f the Shadow Fiend your zero mana maybe. Maybe plus one attack or plus one HP. Hard to say. Maybe like make the Shadow for zero mana. You see. Raffle Rider, isn't that the fucking useless? Yeah, like 5 mana 7 free challenger, like what the fuck? Like, I don't even know, would you even play it with a fucking overwhelm? <laughs> I like, I actually don't know what the fuck they do, like probably just giving it 1 HP and calling it the day, yay. They are like, oh, let's give like the most useless card plus 1 HP, it won't change anything. But we can put it on the patch now. Sweet, we are buffing cards. Gorlit, buff. So what is Gorlit now? It's nine mana, right? Nine mana zero ten. When I when the sound swap my health and your Nexus health. Uh, probably making it eight mana, right? Because nine mana in this game is uncastable. Like literally, like you cannot cast nine mana things. So I think it's becoming eight mana basically. Dusk Rider. Like it could, like this card could be easily 4 mana. And I don't think it would be that great, probably, right? 
Maybe I'm wrong on this. I could be wrong on this. 4 mana 2 for, yeah. 4 mana 2 for color of day. I think that's fair. Reverse row. That's a card I've been talking about like many times when it comes to buffs. And maybe they finally listened. Because like the only way to play this card efficiently is if you make this 4 mana and play Talia on 5, copying this. This is like the only way to play this card. And it, it might be actually good. It might be actually good if you make this 4 mana. Because if you don't know Rivers Row, you probably don't know what the fuck that even is. It's the landmark that summon 1 drops and then gives you a plus 2 plus 1 after 2 countdown. So like you get 2 1 cast units and then plus 2 plus 1 to all of your 1 drops. So if you play this on 4, uh, you, you get 1 dude, right? Then on 5, uh, you summon Talia, you copy this, you get another dude. And then you have like four dudes plus uh, plus four plus two basically, and they are all fearsome. So it's poggers, right? But like we need Talia for that though. So it has to be four mana. Bundle Telstone buff, heroic refrain, your contraption, keeper's verdict. Yeah, those are like, I mean, heroic refrain is playable. Keeper's verdict is like borderline playable. I guess they changed this one. No, wait, they cannot change this. So I guess they change Keeper's Verdict for something good. Or Heroic. Give it Minimor? Perhaps, maybe. That would be quite... I mean, yeah, quite huge, no? Spirits Unleashed buff, that's the most useless spell in the game. Like, I hope they just rework this. Like, I'm actually surprised they didn't, like, include uh, Uder here. And just change his champion spell to the two mana plus one plus one give us tens. Like, why would there has to be punished with this bullshit? Like, even if they buff it like to any mana, like if it was even like fucking three mana, it would be useless as fuck. Like this card is garbage. Like I don't know if they even made it like two mana. I don't think it would be even great at two mana. That's how bad this card is, and it's five mana now. Like this card is. Like, just bullshit bad. Rod Colossus. So this is the guy that copies himself, right? I don't know. I think this card is uh, overall cool. But, like, not as an 8-drop. Like, 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 the payoff of it being in, in... Like, equipping this would be higher. So, like, let's say... Uh, it would be, like, a 4 mana tutu. I mean, I know, that, like, the stats doesn't matter. Like... Let's say 4 mana 2-2, two two, or like 5 mana 3-3, three three, whatever, and just like equip it once, you get the dude, you can replay him, and he's already bigger, and then you equip him again, and then they just keep becoming bigger, right? So I like it to be like way lower on the mana cost and way less stats. Just make it like, so you get rewarded for equipping on weapon on him a lot, you know? Maybe five mana, five, okay, it's probably like five or six mana and like some lower stats. Just equip, uh, keep equipping him. Yeah, that's what I would like to see. Because this has, like, has potential to be cool, but like they made it unplayable as fuck. Then you have Dark in Ballista. Do you want your Nexus? Spend, like, like, the Naganeka is actually fine, I think. I think it's a fine sub. So, they change something in, on here? They just doesn't deal one to your Nexus, maybe? I don't know. I guess it just doesn't deal one to your Nexus. Like, I don't know. I don't understand why it deals one to your Nexus anyway. Heartless Ancient. Okay, that's probably some bullshit card that no one cares about. Cost to let your card in this one. Yeah, it's probably like a 4 4 and no one cares. Lore and Duelist. 3 mana for 2 play given a challenge this round. Can give challenges to itself. Cannot he do it already? I guess he can't. Like if you just skip, like play and skip, maybe grant. Like he could become like a free free, I guess. Like can choose whether he gets challenger or not. Void Seeker? Void Seeker is also like one of those cool cards. But it didn't get to see play. So right now it's uh, one mana deal one to a follower if you have all deal three. 
it could be changed so it can hit champions, maybe. Because I don't see anything else. Like, you cannot really change the speed, I guess. Ah, can you change the speed? I don't think it changing the speed. It makes sense for her to be like, for this spell to be fast, kind of. Like, I can see this being fast. Like, why is it even slow? It's either like fast or uh, what did I say? Or like hit champions. And then the last card is Shatter. Uh, it's either Freeze or like Deal 4 if it's frozen already, right? So it's basically like a Flock. It's like Freylord Flock. But Flock is fast and costs 1-1, one, one, right? <laughs> That's how crazy it is. It's like a Flock. But you can Frostbite instead, right? So because you have a option to frostbite instead it should be slow so it's probably just becoming one mana and at one mana like ah, dude i can even see it being played in like ash at some point maybe probably one mana slow i don't know like one mana slow would be playable i think it's kind of a shame that this card never got played i mean i played it a little bit but i was memeing but yeah i can see it becoming one mana slow it's literally like freylord's flock Okay, we got through all of them. Nice. Nice. Overall, I like pretty much all of the things. I just, I'm just missing like a bar nerf. Uh, and like Uder buff. Like just changing this spell from like Uder. That would be very cool. Overall, I like like pretty much everything. Besides like no bar nerf. Uh, uh, so yeah, it is what it is.